Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can quickly create an approval workflow in SharePoint uh, without even uh, knowing the Power Automate application. Um, let me explain to you a use case. Um, so I have uh, this library of invoices and I need to get an approval on one of the invoices maybe before I process it, before I pay it. Um, I just need you know, an approval from one of my colleagues. Now, of course, if you need to build a sophisticated uh, workflow, you would need to uh, utilize Power Automate application and uh, you kind of need to know what you're doing there. However, I just need a simple approval. So let me show you how easy it is. So here is a document right here, uh, this invoice I need to get an approval on. And all you need to do is just click the checkbox, automate, request sign off. And essentially behind the scenes, we're just using out of the box functionality. It's telling you it's going to rely on all of these uh, connections uh, and features to build the workflow. And you literally just uh, click the create a workflow button. And all you need to do is just um, supply uh, the individual who needs to approve this particular uh, you know, document. So uh, let's wait till this happens. Here we go. I want Mary to approve this document. So I'm going to type Mary's name. And this is your personal note to Mary, um, you know, explaining the reason why you need to approve this. Here we go. And run flow. That's all you need to do. All right. Uh, so at the moment, the workflow has been sent. You know, this invoice was sent to Mary. Let me show you before I go to Mary's screen uh, another thing that happened. You probably noticed this already. Another column, as soon as I submitted this document that was the very first time I submitted this, um, you know, a document from this library for approval. But look at this. Another column was added automatically. I didn't even have to, you know, add it manually. And it tells me the status of the invoice. All right. It says it's pending. So uh, once it's approved, it will actually change the status to approved or rejected. So let's now see the experience for Mary. I'm going to now uh, switch to Mary's screen. Now, there are a few places where Mary can approve or reject this invoice. She can, of course, go to Outlook, all right? She will receive an email and she can approve and reject uh, from there. She can actually navigate to Power Automate. All right, let me show you, all right? And under Action Items, Approvals, it will actually show you know it will actually show all the documents that were sent uh, for approval right here and you know she can approve or reject right from here but a very common place would also be teams all right um if mary um spends the whole day in teams that would be the best place to uh approve a document and let's see what happened here all right here we go look at this as soon as i clicked uh, on activity you know feed uh it shows me this request from Greg, all right? It says Greg sent the request to approve this document. Now, one thing I uh, kind of forgot to mention, in order for this to work, um, you know, Mary needs to have this approvals app installed, all right? So that's kind of a prerequisite for this to work in Teams. Um, uh, essentially, um, you know, if you want the, to be able to approve uh, in Teams, all you need to do is just install this application, which is literally just a few clicks. Um, but Mary already had this application installed. So here we go. Uh, so essentially, she gets a request um, with the you know, information, my personal message, uh, a link to the document. So Mary can always click on the document and view it before approving it. Uh, and then a um, couple of options, either approve or reject or reassign. All right, maybe Mary wants to, uh, um, you know, someone else to take a look. Uh, she can reassign it, but let's go ahead and approve it. Um, so here we go. All good. Approve. All right. And essentially now the response is submitted back to me. Uh, and uh, actually, um, this shows, uh, you know, my teams showing me that this was approved. All right. Uh, but uh, let's go back to the original library. Here we go. This doc. Once I refresh the screen, it says approved. All right. So I just carried you through the whole, um, you know, uh, cycle, I guess, and showed you from start to finish how easy and quickly it is uh, to submit um, and approve documents in SharePoint Online and Teams. Uh, hopefully, you learned something new uh, in this video. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, and. Uh, 
uh, looking forward to seeing you soon on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.